Hi, uh, welcome everybody to Latif's Inspired. Today I'll be cooking a chicken naga curry. Um, very nice and spicy and it's very popular. We call it the uh, Sileti special. Obviously that's the region where I'm from in Bangladesh and um, they do like spicy food there but not all dishes are spicy like South India. Everything is just spicy. We have various contrasts in spices and flavours. Um, so today I'll be cooking a chicken naga special curry. Now I want you guys to uh, smash the like, put in some comments and help me. I think I've nearly reached about 50,000 so thank you very much especially the people who's been with me from the beginning. Um, it started off as a passion and teaching people and I've been doing it all my life and that's all I know and um, I just thought it would be nice to do this channel and since I've done it I haven't looked back it's been very good and I would like to do more of it so maybe do it full time you never know. Uh, so thank you very much and um, I'd like to thank you from the bottom of my heart and I do appreciate all the support because uh, sometimes you need a bit of support. So thank you very much and today I'm going to crack on a chicken naga curry for all you spice lovers. Thank you very much. Right, bismillah. So I've got my uh, stainless steel pan. It's getting heated up. Now this is a vegetable ghee. It's just been heated up so it just becomes nice and loose so I'm gonna use that's one proper chef spoon so but a nice big tablespoon that is guys it needs a lot of oil to cook this food to restaurant standard British restaurant quality if you're health conscious and asking me why am I putting in so much oil please use less um, at home no problem whatsoever um, and just use a drizzle of water if you feel it sticking but um, I'm going to show you my recipe guys so Follow it to your heart's desire. I think that's heated up. Now, uh, these are the sliced onions, green pepper, and red pepper. It looks pretty and it's also very flavoursome. Obviously, I washed the onions so it's got a bit of water. That's why it's sizzling away. So, let that sizzle calm down for about a minute or two. Right, that's softened up um, nice and beautifully. There you go. You can see the caramelized um, onions and everything's just become nice and soft. Now what I'm gonna do is, this is the garlic and ginger paste, guys. Um, half of measurement of garlic, half a measurement of uh, ginger but I use some coriander stalks and so on that's why you can see a bit of green and green pepper just use 50-50 ginger and garlic for you at home I'll also make these soon on some videos I'm gonna put the gas slightly a bit down so about medium low because um, what's gonna happen is it's gonna start burning and I don't want all I want it to do is just caramelize and I can see it becoming golden and delicious so that's what I want. I'm going to have to add some salt. Obviously the salt softens the, everything up, which I need to do. It's about half a teaspoon. You can use more or less to your liking. Can you see why um, I've not, why well, I've added quite a fair bit of vegetable ghee? Can you see that? It's not oily whatsoever, but it needs everything to cook out. There you go. Garlic ginger has cooked beautifully. This is one teaspoon of uh, curry powder. It's my mix, but I've just made it simply for you to do at home. So one teaspoon of um, curry powder, any curry powder is fine. Uh, hopefully East End brand, that's the one I promote. Not getting paid by them, by the way, right? <laughs> Not getting paid by anybody, by the way. Right, um, this is um, half a teaspoon of turmeric. Um, half a teaspoon of uh, garam masala, half a teaspoon of coriander, and half a teaspoon of cumin. You want to taste all the spices, so that's why I put them in. There you go. Now, you need the spices to liven up in the oil. Just make sure you don't burn it, it's not too hot. If you burn it, it becomes bitter. That's what you do, you do not want. Get a nice um, tablespoon of tomato puree. You can just get any tomato puree at home, just water it down 
Uh, but if you follow my tomato puree, how I make it, I've actually got it on the channel. Then you'll have a fantastic flavoured curry. Now this is just half a medium sized tomato just wedged up. So that, that goes in. I'm also going to add in dried Kashmiri chilies, which I just put in some hot, uh, hot oil, puffed it up. Some green chilies for flavour and as well as the look of it. So that goes in. At this point, I am going to add a bit of water. I do not want my spices to burn. I want it to be maximum flavour. Secret ingredients going in now, guys. This is uh, the Mr. Naga brand. All Indian restaurants use it. Some use the cheap brand. I don't. I just get this one. I also make my own. Uh, when I make my own, um, I like to add um, scotch bonnets and habanero. Um, it brings out a better flavour. So um, if you want to see me cooking, uh, making myself one of these with the habanero and scotch bonnets, uh, put it on the comment section and when I get a bit of time I'll make it. Right, as you've noticed, um, I haven't put any chilli powder because this is um, extremely spicy and very flavoursome. So what I'm going to do, I normally add, now this is more than heat guys, it's a massive teaspoon. So use it to your heart's desire, how much you like, no problem whatsoever with me. So that's one massive heat teaspoon gone in there. This will bring out the flavours, not just the heat like a vindaloo. If you come into my restaurant and ask for a siletti, this is what's going to come for to you. There you go. Now what I'm going to do, this is a breast of chicken, um, it's been marinated and grilled in the tandoor. If you're at home, just put some spices on a breast, grill it, uh, slice it up and then um, you can add it. With this spice, you can add two pieces of breast as well, no problem whatsoever. And that would uh, be designed for two people, but this is designed for one person. All I want now is for the spices to um, marry up with the chicken, to penetrate the chicken, or the flavours to go in, chicken to be heated up, and then I'm going to add the base gravy. Right, the pan is heated up, the gas is on a sort of medium high heat, now I'm going to put the gravy in. Now this is one ladle of gravy, it's about 200 and just over 200 uh, mils of uh, gravy. So I'm using about one and a half. So that's about, I would say about 400 mils of gravy, base gravy that's gone in there. Now, put the gas on high. And what I do is, I put the lid on, let that cook for uh, about three, four minutes and all the flavours penetrates in the chicken and the sauce becomes thick and it will be ready to serve. I'll just quickly show you. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, bubbling away. I want it to become nice and thick. As I always say, like a custard consistency. That's how the British Indian restaurants serve it. Right, curry's ready. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. Right, thank you very much for the people who uh, still tuned in and um, I hope you've enjoyed this dish, the chicken naga 
curry if you've enjoyed uh, my tips and how I presented the food and so on um, don't forget to like share and subscribe I want to go over that hurdle of 50,000 I'm nearly there um, so thank you very much from the bottom of my heart I appreciate everything that anybody ever does for me and uh, it's beyond my power it's up to you guys if you like my channel don't forget to uh, like share and subscribe and support and uh, give me some love so this was it um, and I have to let you into a secret uh, I'm filming before uh, shift today and my delivery vegetable supplier didn't come in today so my coriander I, I didn't get others this would have been some nice coriander on top um, so yeah that's my little secret for today's episode thank you very much for tuning in and I'll see you soon for my next video